Let me be very clear. This entire inquiry, this entire testimony that I'm giving to you uh, right now will be lies. And quite frankly, I, my following is so brainwashed and compelled to do whatever I say that it really won't f***ing matter one little difference. So if we could just wrap this up, that would be fantastic. I think he's right. I swear to tell the truth. Uh, ah, nothing but the truth. So help me Baphomet. So help me God. If we did not invoke the Emergencies Act, then, well, we would have had to listen to the truckers, and there's no way uh, 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 for us to have been able to do that. Because we just built a Moderna factory. And we need to keep those jabs pumping. We need shots in arms. This is how we're going to save the economy. CSIS and, and the RCMP. Uh, what, sorry, what is this a... Uh, is this like QAnon? What is that? Do you know what CSIS is? Quite frankly, it sounds made up. It uh, sounds like some sort of QAnon America January 6th. I haven't been briefed on that, so I can't speak to CSIS or RCMP. It, it was our understanding that when there was windows being smashed and Canadians were being beaten in the streets of Ottawa, that the country wanted that. Uh, no one wanted to have a conversation about vaccine mandates. Or, uh, and it's very clear if you look at the polls in the newspapers. You do read the newspapers, right? Don't you, uh, Mr. Miller? Do you read the, the newspapers? I have never been so terrified as a public official. The threats and the emails and the, the Facebook comments, uh, they haunt me to this day. I may be accumulating millions of dollars with what I do by lining my pockets with where various uh, backroom deals, but these peasants making comments about me on the internet, it's just unacceptable. I show my wife, Sophie, we're very close, by the way. I, I show her every night, look, look what uh, Proud Albertan 312 said. He says he doesn't like me very much. And that, as a public official who has always stood up for Alberta, it's scary. It's scary. The sooner we take away these firearms from useless eaters in Canada, the better. People are saying that there was not enough evidence, there was not enough of a justification to invoke the Emergencies Act. Personally, I don't know what the word justification means. It sounds like another conservative buzzword to try and make fun of me. Just inflation, justification, it's very childish. These truckers, these protesters, were waving racist Nazi flags. If, if that's not an emergency, I really don't know what is. My photographer that day did not take photos of those flags. And I want to be unequivocal. He was with me on set for a swimsuit photo shoot. I want to be clear on that. Hmm. Oh, is this the Freedom Corp lawyer? Okay. I, it's, it's just that I have a family, Your Honor. I have a family. I want to protect him, your family. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Ugh. Well, I noticed you're not wearing a mask. So, I think that says a lot. I am very proud of our police force. They stepped up, they got vaccinated, and they beat up Canadians who aren't really Canadians, are they? They're, uh, they, they are, they're filth. They are people who disagree with me. And is that really what we want in this country? People disagreeing with me, your favorite, Laurentian elite? And that's why I knew invoking the Emergencies Act 
Well, it wasn't B. It was actually Cesis who, who who then said it was okay, but they changed the definition of whether it would be or, uh, okay or not. But the, the, the point is it was justified. And this is exactly what I meant during my last campaign when I said choose forward or else. I'm focused on the path forward with Canadians. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train besides vaccinated people. I don't want to talk about mandates. I don't want to talk about mandates. And that's what the police horses were for. So I could have avoid uh, uh, having a conversation. I stand by everything that Christia Freeland has said. Her background uh, being a literal Nazi. Um, I stand by it. Because when we had the, the, the troops marching out to clean out the filth of uh, uh, the, the Canadian truckers standing up for what they believe in, well, I was proud. I was proud of Christia Freeland's past, and I think it really helped us that day when we um, gave truckers bruised ribs. And I really think that's an important part of our history, an important part of our uh, uh, makeup, not not the makeup that I uh, put on put on my face, of course, but the the make the makeup of the country. A Canadian is a terrorist. Is a Canadian is a Canadian. These these flags were disgusting. Uh, I, I didn't know how to deal with them. No liberal MP, no Canadian, would be seen doing something so obviously racist. And I just frown upon any Canadian who puts up with something that is so obviously racist. You would have to be stupid uh, uh, to put up with something, to watch someone do something that is so obviously racist and to still call yourself a Canadian. Freezing the bank accounts of Canadian protesters was a decision uh, that Christia Freeland did not take lightly. We talked about it for about 30 seconds. Uh, she basically said, we have the power to do this. And I said, absolutely, let's f go. Um, er, these people don't deserve to have a voice. Um, because it's not so much a democracy. Is a democracy is a democracy. This is my democracy now. This is my country. And if you f with me, there will be consequences. <laughs> Getting fully vaccinated chooses to not get vaccinated, there will be consequences. We invoked that act on the intelligence of the law enforcement, on the intelligence of Skittles Ceaseser, the, uh, the, the guys with the red coats as well. And when that woman was crushed by the police horse, I laughed because I thought, we are going to lie about this. And that person's now permanently injured uh, because of me. And I feel good about that because most Canadians are on my side. So we win. And uh, everyone is brainwashed in this country based on what I tell the journalists to write. Uh, uh, so I just want to be very clear and unequivocal. Um, if you disagree or, uh, with uh, the, the Trudeau government, the Canadian federal government, f you. Yeah. You can go f yourself. Yes. Let me talk about Canada. And let me just filibuster the same trite bullshit that I always do, as if this was a press conference, even though I've sworn an oath to tell the truth. Er, ah. 